Nick Fury is a linchpin of the MCU. Not only did the character manage to bring together the Avengers, but he also discovered Captain Marvel, took down Hydra and has saved the world numerous times. But what if the praise we give him is unwarranted? What if it was never Nick Fury doing all of those amazing things? Well, there's a pretty big fan theory mounting at the moment that Nick Fury may not be exactly what we think. So I thought I'd put together the evidence that supports this and why it's so important. This is full spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, and don't want anything from the rest of the MCU spoiled, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I explain it so you don't have to. Okay, so firstly, Marvel have been pretty good at foreshadowing things and slotting fan theories into their movies. Both Wakanda and Peter Parker make appearances in Iron Man 2, and even Stan Lee was confirmed as a Watcher informant in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. There's also, of course, Thanos who made an appearance at the end of the Avengers, far before he was ever intended to be brought into the universe. It's clear that they're pretty smart when it comes to setting things up, and there's a big thing of note that gets mentioned in Captain Marvel that, when we look back over the MCU films, appears to have some significance. Okay, so when Captain Marvel and Nick Fury meet in a bar at about the midpoint of the movie, they test each other to see if they can prove that they are not scrolls. As a way to prove that he's definitely human, Fury tells something so secret about himself that a scroll would never know it, and that is that he can't eat toast that has been cut diagonally. It's a pretty weird remark that seems so random that it's strange it was even included, but if we look at Age of Ultron, there's a pretty clear reason why this may have been put into the movie. This is because in the farm scene from that film, when Fury reunites with the team once more, he slices up a sandwich into triangles before eating it. Okay, okay, so I know this isn't toast, but you would still think that the rules would apply. It's the only time you ever see Fury eat, and those well versed in film studies know that food in films is often chosen for very deliberate reasons. Whilst this may be a bit of a stretch, there's actually a lot to back it up. Firstly, when the scrolls land on Earth in Captain Marvel, there's clearly four in the group yet only three are accounted for in the film. That means that one of them disappeared and was never seen or heard from again and therefore remained on Earth. In addition to this, there's leaked concept art of Fury transforming into a scroll in the Captain Marvel movie book, Captain Marvel The Art of the Movie. So, whilst it may not have made it to the film, it's clear that the creators at least considered that the character could be one. Although a lot of fans are saying that Fury was swapped out at the end of Captain Marvel as he says his eye is fine and then ends up wearing a patch, I actually think it happened at a later date. One thing that always bugged me about the Winter Soldier is that we see Fury die in a public hospital where he wouldn't really have the opportunity to fake his own death. He later pops up in the film stating that it was all an act. But this has just always kind of got to me and in my opinion it seemed like lazy writing. However, if the theory is true then this creates the perfect opportunity for the scroll to step in. In the absence of Fury, the scroll could step forward, assume his place and begin returning the favour for the man who saved his people. This also explains why he would have knowledge of Captain Marvel and the inner workings of S.H.I.E.L.D. as he could have infiltrated them early on. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory and if you agree with me. The toast thing with me is a pretty big red flag that I can't really chalk up to anything else, and it definitely seems like it was included in the script to reference the one time that we saw Fury eat. Obviously, there's going to be loads of people that agree, loads of people that disagree, and loads of people that just have even better theories. Make sure you leave them in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, and make sure you check out my breakdown of the full timeline of the Tesseract, which will be linked at the end of this video. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.